to This is the Ghost on Game Nation and Z. I'm going to be sharing my ideas and thoughts what they could add in game and improve game as well. Because there's some things I like and some things I dislike and some things that they could add or change and stuff like that. Um, and so if you want to hear them thoughts, you can hear them now. I will... It's a different video. I'm not going to go in game because normally... In if I was playing Phasmophobia, I would normally go in game and do it, but me and them not, or I might just do presentation, but me and them not, I'm playing this all day, and I can't hop in the mission because the ghost will go crazy by the time I finish talking about it, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so, without further ado, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so I'm not notified every time I make a video, let's get on to the game, right, um, it's Reputation with a Secret Society, that's what it's called. Right, okay. So, I don't know whether it, this is the Reputation thing or not. Um. Ah, okay, I actually told you here. Right, this one here, I'm not going to train. This one here. The Twilight Ravens. Now, I don't know whether I'm not, because I'm on the Twilight Ravens, because I got these new features, but before, you didn't used to have a ghost monitor. Like a ghost activity monitor outside the map. So, but the ghost can mo the ghost can actually turn on. Uh, well, disable. I think the ghost can disable your ghost activity monitor, which is a little bar you can see on the screen. Well, is a little bar you can see here. The ghost activity up here. And they can turn that off. And you can turn it back on. However, it is going to be difficult if it's near the hunting range. Now, it is a good idea, but then it is. I like it. I don't. I can't see a bad reason yet, so. But it is it kind of look a bit annoying? A little bit? But, when the ghost turns it off, but that's okay. However, they also added a battery to your night vision camera. So, when I come to be the night vision to try and find a ghost room, and especially on easy mode, it's 50%. I don't know whether it actually tells you in here. Um... Oh! Yeah, it didn't actually tell you in here, so it's probably a thing in here. I don't know. I only got 50% night vision in the... 50% back in night vision in the camera. I don't know whether it's because I'm on the Twilight Ravens and that's what it is, or not. And I think... If it is, then it doesn't matter, but I think it's like, well, if you got this scent and you can't find the ghost room within that battery range, so it's like within a few seconds the battery goes down, and if you can't find the ghost room by the time that battery's gone down to zero, or the ghost comes too active, because sometimes if you can't find the ghost room, you can't get rid of the ghost. Because obviously, if you try and incense them, you can't incense them. Especially some that aren't actually um, physically can't be incensed. Yeah, you got your burn flash and your other tools. But I think, like, 
that really needs to be a a hundred percent. And I think as well they should add it so that it to your level. So with the easy mode, you get a hundred percent battery. When you're in normal mode, you get seventy five percent battery. When you're on hard mode, fifty percent battery. And if they added another difficulty on there, you get twenty five percent battery. However, if they add that, you gotta also add a merch store. So you know you got the merchant and you buy stuff there. You can buy a new NT here, you can buy the Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. They've actually added battery night vision. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> never mind then. You know what? That is going. That I completely disagree on the price there. That is. Well, I do agree with the price a little bit, but that is. No, I don't like that feature in the game because that is going to be so hard for me to get that amount of medals. I'm already finding it difficult. They need to remove that. To me, my idea would be get rid of the motorbike, get rid of this little merchant store, and rework them into one thing. So you add a truck in the game, and then in the truck you add a store, an online store, and instead of having like something like this, battery night vision improved performance, get rid of that, add batteries in there. Add batteries. Just add the batteries separately. So you have to buy your batteries to keep your night vision going. Or just incre decrease the rate it goes down. Because there's no way am I going to get that thing. I have to work my butt off. It's ten times harder. I'm already trying to work for this one. Now I've got to get 60 of these to get to get that. To me, either move the medals off and have it like money so I can actually get it or make we work the store so you can actually buy batteries for them because it's I just can't do it. And I gotta get the respective edition. Which means now it's gonna take me twice as long because not only am I gotta get this respected, I also gotta get this as friendly. So I'm um, not that one, so I'm um, this one's neutral. Wait! Oh, for goodness sake! I just suddenly remembered. So. Next one is friendly, which is 10,000. Not only that, I've got to get this up to 20,000 oh, to get respected. That needs a rework. That, that is a big no-no in the game. That puts me off this game straight away. They need to get rid of that. They need to actually rework where you can purchase this. Because how on earth, if I can't find the ghost room by the time that... Back to get to zero, I'll leave. I'll have to start again. With, in, with this, they need to have it so that either the ghost room shows up more, much easier, straight away, or two, they have to have it so that the battery decrease a lot. It takes a lot longer for the battery to decrease. Otherwise, it's going to be not fair. Especially with new players coming in the game. They only got 50% battery as they come in the game and find the ghost room. That's not fair new players. So really, that should be money. Because I can easily earn money, but I can't earn these. Yeah, I think that needs to be worked. <coughs> Yeah, I think that need to be reworked. Get rid of that. That, and plus, 
that is way too expensive for the battery. I might be thinking, yeah, that could be a right price for it because it's another 50% on the battery. But then, yet again, look how many I got to. Uh, I'm not even good at the game. I just do what I can, get the best I can do, and I just get what I can get done, get a good amount of money, and buy stuff. I knew stuff like this would be adding medals, but 50 medals for a battery night vision improves performance. Uh, uh, uh. That is way too much. And having it as respected as well, that's going to take way longer than expected. Yeah, I could have 50 by then, but then, yeah, again, I've got to, I have to do missions on each of these. On all these, just to get about 50 medals. And if I can't get the ghost room in time, then I'm not going to earn those medals. I think some of the updates that they're doing, they're not even thinking about, oh, this is good. Something like this, night vision. That, money. See? Maybe what they could do is if... They make this night, this battery night vision, five thousand dollars, and m make this night vision infrared intensity fifty medals. That being better because I'm not really bothered about having this one, and also make this to friendly, and make this to respected, or swap these two round so like you have. Well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I would swap these two around. So this will be respected in this mode here. In this one here. And have friendly in this one here. And all you do is I can get the battery then. Because that is more important than having this night vision intensity. That's what I will do. Because I'm not really bothered about getting that one straight away. Because night vision, I think, is good already. You don't need it even better. So, if they could uh, maybe swap them two around, that'd be great. I'll be happy with that. Because otherwise, I just can't complete the mission. But, to me, also, the reason why I want them to add an in-game store, like, in the truck, something like that is because then you could probably buy yourself some batteries because then you could add so like your flashlight battery could go down eventually and then you have to buy a new battery for that you could have entities drain your batteries of all your equipment and you have to buy new batteries mm. but then that will be a it will be like a little bit harder though Maybe on easy mode, the bat maybe on easy mode, the ghosts are less likely to drain the batteries of your equipment. But on the harder mode, you can have it like they're more likely to do that. You could add in the game, so it's more harder. Um, I was going to play this game all day because I wanted to get my campsite map, but it is going to take me ten times. Longer to do it because of this battery night vision. Please just swap them around. Swap them around and I'll be happy. Because how on earth am I going to get that much done? Get the ghost room easy. It makes it ten times harder. Let alone this. Look at this. This is ten thousand dollars. Fifty, no, twenty thousand dollars. I think some of the money that they just need to just some money. How much money do you earn in the game? I know on harder levels. I know I'm on easy mode and I don't get that much. But I'm happy on easy mode. Maybe just reduce it down a touch, just a touch. Not a lot, just a touch. So it makes it easier. Because 
at the end day, it's up to the players what they want to play on and what they like doing the best. And if they, if you're like me, I like playing in easy mode and I'm just trying to get in grip to the game. And I would like to um, actually um, buy all the maps, but I can't buy all the maps because they're too expensive. But the only map that I can buy is this. But it means I'll go repel cementers first. Well, get rid of cementers in the game. Anyway, there are some more things. Is I would like a ghost energy bar. So the ghost activity bar need to be reworked so it tells you the amount of maps it's done. And the ghost energy bar is the actual ghost itself. The ghost is energy on how things. So when the ghost is does some activity, it triggers the ghost activity bar a little bit and it triggers the ghost energy bar. And then the ghost activity goes back down to zero and then when the ghost does something else, triggers activity and the NG, NG goes up a bit higher, but the activity goes up a bit and then goes down. It's like similar like phasmophobia when you know they have a chart where it goes up and down based on the activity, so if the ghost does nothing it stays at zero. That one like if the ghost is in nothing, then the activity. But the ghost is NG. Even if they just throw one object, it could spike a lot. So maybe for vengeful ghosts, that NG could spike way more just by throwing a little bit, uh, just one little item. That one would like to see in the game as well. But definitely improvement of the battery, yeah. So, move this bit here, move this bit here, and to here, change it to here, but have it as friendly, and then move this bit here, to here, and change it to respected, and have 50. And this one, so basically, battery in the night keeper, Required repetition, friendly, $5,000. I can easily get that, because look. And then, night, just night vision alone, required repetition, respected, 50 medals, the vanguard of Gavadian. Or Guardian, I don't know how you pronounce it. On there. That will be easy. I will be happy with that. Because then that way I can then, like, get the battery, move on. Because I, all I have to do is just get this Night Keeper up to 4,000. Get that battery. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. That's going to take 10 times longer, isn't it? I can then... No, what I can then do is just spend all the time Night Keeper and get that done. Or you swap this to friendly and that to neutral. Then this to friendly, the battery to neutral, and then that's it. I don't know. I just want it so that I can get the battery one easier. Because the battery is more important than this night vision here. And that's what I'm saying. There's no good getting this night vision if you got a better night vision if you got a 50 uh, night vision camera that only has 50% battery. The battery comes first, then the thing. And that's what is important. And you gotta make sure, because if I was creating this game, this, and I added a better battery for this, this will come first before the other, before the better night vision. So you'll be able to get this one first, before the better night vision. That's what I would have had it. So if they can rework that, that'd be totally fine. I like that a lot. And it makes, and then I can then search around and go to them. And as you can see, see how long it takes me to go around every room and how much the battery just drains. And 
I've gone around several times, and if I can't find the ghost room and the ghost is being real active, how can I <coughs> decrease it? But if it's a ghost, because depending on what type of ghost it is, let me just show you here. Right, let me go to the journal. Depending on the type of ghost it is, say like, if it's got more like pistol, so like this ghost here, the damage created the most damage that like, damages this ghost, or, you know what I mean. The pistol creates more damage to the ghost than the burning flash and the salt. In this one, the incense creates more damage to this ghost rather than the burning flash and the pistol. And you have got to then find out which one creates more damage than any other one to repel it. But then that's also not helping you out because you're not... I think there should be something like whole water which then creates... When you spray whole water it actually disables the ghost for a few minutes. And like it basically like calms it down and it does activity. It doesn't do any. It doesn't create big spikes or anything. It just calms it down. And then you can find the ghost room and everything like that. You need to have it like balanced and a bit more so it's better. Otherwise, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't deal with it otherwise. Anyway, with that being said, um, I'll let you know if there's anything else that I come up with, any ideas or changes I want like to see more. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. And turn up my video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Bye, YouTube.